Hello everyone, I am Rizwan and today I just wanted to make a vlog. Um, I was originally thinking about pulling out my camera and setting it up, setting up the audio, the lights to record a vlog, but I decided, you know, I was just <clears throat> giving a lot of excuses to myself and there were a lot of things going on. I was tired, I, I was getting sick, so uh, I decided, okay, this is just keeps delaying so let's just record the vlog on our phone and get a video out and just give a small little update and just just uh, make a video in general to just um, talk to the fans and the audience and whoever is watching so as you may know I have worked on a film called Woodhouse it is a featurette film it's about 45 minutes long and it is still in post-production we have not completely finished it we have completed the filming the editing um, the editing there are still some minor edits to be made but it's it's very minor um, other than that we only got the the sound and the music to be worked on other than that everything else is pretty much complete um, hopefully we'll showcase it in August but even that I'm I couldn't be certain but we are working towards it we are setting things up. It is taking more time than expected, but for me, I'd rather it take more time than rushing out with a bad product. So I'm okay with it. Other than that, I'm not exactly producing short films at the moment, uh, even though I want to, but I do want to settle some other things like um, getting into, into a job, and just focusing on that, earning some money, and after that I could um, set more things up, like uh, getting people together, renting out the the studios, the the rental equipments, so that it's uh, a better production overall, right? Because the the problem that I keep facing, that I keep having, is that the productions that I produce, that I direct, are very amateur and then people don't take it seriously and then it's kind of like a cycle where um, people see the film and they think the film is of low quality and then I don't get the chance to upgrade as the way that I want to so I have to take it about upon myself to um, spend some time um, get into a good job and then just earn some money and then go and do a film even though originally the plan was to make films and then use that to make bigger films but that is clearly not working in the environment that I'm in in Hong Kong where there's very little opportunities so that is a that is another problem that I'm facing right now I feel like you know this is not exactly what I really feel like doing anymore and I have, I have made videos about this before with um, talking about films, movies, uh, whether this is something that I really want to do or not. Um, I mean, I always give up for a while and then I come back. So I would say I don't really want to give up necessarily, but I do want to focus more on my own life, right? I want to focus on things that um, it's not that I've necessarily neglected but more like it's more important than films like um, it's more important to settle that than making films because films are not really getting me to anywhere like it's not giving me money it's not helping me meet people that I really want to meet honestly like there there are some amazing people talented people um, but at the end of the day it comes down to are they within the same value system as me do they want the same things as me and it's a lot of times it's a it's a yes 50% and it's a very big no 50% so I'm just like, this is not really what 
I want? This is not the people that I exactly want to spend time with. And is it really much better outside? Not really. So then it also comes to a point where I think, oh, is it just me that is like this? It's because of me that I have a really bad personality or, or something, whatever it is. And I'm so boring and uninteresting and because of that, the people who talk to me are also like, oh, this guy is so boring and un uninteresting. This guy is always like this. So, I don't know actually, you know. So, I do think about a lot of these things quite often. And what I realize is that a lot of people are going through similar situations, but then they don't want to really come to terms or admit about what their faults are. Uh, I try my best to admit what my faults are and come to the conclusion and re I really try to improve myself. But when it comes to other people that I see, is it is it really the case? Um, you know, like it's like a controversial answer, right? But I feel like a lot of people are within their own, like, thinking and they don't want to come out of that at all. And even if you point it out, they just, they admit it, and then they just get back to the same thing that they were doing. So you're like, oh, okay, you're not going to really understand or learn from um, the mistakes that you've made. You're not going to understand from um, the other side, the other perspective. So it's like, what exactly do you expect? So I feel like that happens with a lot of people that I meet. It's not just people that I meet just as friends with no like film ties or even even people within film. Some people are like that. So obviously when I meet people in film, I try to be more, um, I feel like I, I can relate to them more. And then to a certain extent, I can relate to them. But then on another extent, I'm like, no man it, it feels like you don't really live in reality like a lot of things you're doing is not really practical and then I meet people outside of film and they go in uh, the opposite direction where they're too practical and they don't really understand another side you know they don't really understand that there are people who are certain things that you do you might not be able to understand it but that doesn't mean it's the wrong thing to do or it's un unnecessary or something, you know? And there's also people who, they give advice, but that advice doesn't really relate or make sense to the person. And I, I had to deal with it a lot of times, right? And I'm sure other people have as well where people just give unsolicited advice advice that it doesn't even make sense to you doesn't really relate to you but then they just give it and afterwards you just think about it and, and then you just feel bad it doesn't even motivate you and it's completely useless right um, or it's it's like certain things it works for you specifically but it's not going to work for the other person because like for example i'm going through a completely different life than you i come from completely different circumstances certain different um just situations but you're coming at it with oh it worked for me so it must work for you which is it's absolutely not like that right and it's something that i feel like certain people they succeed in something and then they think yeah they know everything and they can just give advice, give unsolicited, unsolicited advice and just command and say, yeah, this is how it is. This is all you have to do, man. Just do this. Just do this. Just do that. Just um, dress a certain way, act a certain way. Or just, um, just apply for this, just apply for that. Um, so, like... I'm not trying to point to any any 
specific people because this has happened all throughout my my life and experience and um, yeah even when it comes to film there's so many people who say just just don't make films or they say oh why don't you just make something like this that's super entertaining and people things that people will watch but when you do make it is there a guarantee that you'll watch it is there a guarantee that that's gonna get views you think that that's gonna get views from your limited perception and understanding but really if I do spend that effort put that one year or how many ever months and then I put it out are you gonna watch it are you gonna promote it are you gonna share it are you gonna support it and a lot of times it's it's a no no like most of the time like the effort I put in is not really respected or supported so I'm sitting here like oh I I spent one year making this film but in the end how many people actually came to the to the screening how many people actually came to spend time and watch the film on on YouTube like yeah there is a certain number of audience but it, it's not enough M none of my videos reached like a 50k or 100k views but that is what is required if I need to get to the the next level like making money through through YouTube through making films and I have to get at least like 10k subscribers 50k subscribers but that that seems like such a stretch you know even if I produce consistent content is that content that I produce that I put effort in is it gonna get views there's no guarantee right there there's no guarantee that's the that's I feel is the problem that a lot of people that ask me to make YouTube make videos uh, even though I am I am doing it I think there is a level of that thing that people have to understand that even if you put in that effort put in those uh, th that time there's no guarantee at all after making videos uploading different types of content and videos for like like 10 years more than 10 years I still only got 988 subscribers so far at the time of recording so clearly it's not really working clearly this is not um, a stable sufficient efficient way to make money so a lot of times like when when you consider the reason why a lot of people quit making films quit making art is because of these kinds of things the effort they that they have to put in and the passion that they have to put in it's not translating to anything it doesn't translate to any kind of success even let's say even like a um, personal success like let's say I I've made so many films I've um, I've done I've done all these types of things I've met different people I've networked and then I go out to like let's say a social gathering or an event or a party I go in I look like a buffoon I look like a fool maybe not exactly or, or like that exaggerated maybe right maybe they don't consider me as a fool but like in a way it is because I feel like this is not the result that I should be having when I've been doing this for such a long time and I've been putting in this much effort and showcasing this much stuff on my channel it might even sound really prideful of me to be saying this but you know like at, at the end afterwards then then you start to consider like okay this is clearly not getting me to what I want so uh, I think the next step is just to quit and just go into live a regular life because at the very least I could get a um, I could make some money go out invest um, go out to social gatherings with the money that I have and then I could spend it on on like going out with people going out with friends seeing seeing people meeting girls um, you know that is something that I don't think I can really do at this time because who am I I'm just a broke filmmaker 
who nobody really cares about or knows and they don't really consider me as an attractive guy or a, like I'm, I'm just not taken seriously so it's like okay so what is the what is the end end result of this there's there's not much being done much being like achieved so yeah this is just a little rant i guess about filmmaking and what i feel as a filmmaker in hong kong as a you can say like an indian filmmaker in hong kong a non local non chinese filmmaker this is the plight that uh, i have to face i've been facing so far and i don't really know if it's really going to change because i i haven't seen any successful um non chinese filmmaker so far over here the best bet is like going to another country another city um but then again i need i need some money i need some uh clout but i don't have it so i don't i don't i don't really know what to do you know i don't really know the the exact right thing to do the right way um yeah so there's a lot more that i want to say there's a lot more explanation that i want to give but i feel like the video is going to get too long so maybe i'll come back with another another video and maybe i'll offer some more updates about woodhouse and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye